right, let's do this. Today is day 56 of the year of streaming and learning to code. That is important because it's, uh, well, first off, it's after day 55, but that means we are now less than 10 days away. We are nine days and counting from day 65. And day 65 is important, technically after, because that marks 300 days and less. Which is kind of the first major hurdle that I've been looking forward to. So, yeah. Right? Right? Good. Good. Okay. Now, with that said, let's continue on. Uh, we had a short stream last night. Honestly, I, we're pretty sure we're going to have another short stream today. We are 66% of the way through exam statistics. I think we're on, on section 7 of 9 or 6 of 9 or something somewhere. Now, mm, what are we looking at? Okay. Section 7. I, I am going to jump back to the beginning to, to briefly look over all the fun stuff that we did yesterday. And uh, we'll, we'll put the, the last couple nails in this thing and uh, we'll be done with it. It will be gone forever. Nice. Okay. Grade stuff. Look at those grades. I recall that. We didn't do anything here. We just did save and submit. Spits out the grades. Beautiful. Print those grades. We we did a little little bit of handiwork with the print grades function, which got used in the later sections. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nice. Look at that. 100 down to 50.5. Beautiful. A lot of viewing. Nothing special happened here. Now, the sum of scores. How did, how did that play out? We defined grade sum via scores as our argument. And then it gets tacked on to the total. Across the board. Spit out sum of scores. Nice. Here's where the average came in, which was a very straightforward one, which I overthought like normal. Uh, return grade sum, grades, float length, grades. Beautiful. Beautiful, because we need that, that float instead of an integer. Ta-da! Da-da-da-da-da-da! Which gave us 80.4. Beautiful. And then lastly, we did section 6, which was basically just pulling the trigger. As we head into section seven, now uh, as we do that, I'm I'm actually going to read this one, a little bit of pregame review before we dive into into section seven itself. Six review. Great work creating the capability to compute the average of the test grades. We're going to use the average for computing the variance. The variance allows us to see how widespread the grades were from the average. Hit save and submit to continue. Awesome. Awesome. Now, section 7. Right? Right? Shall we begin? The variance. Dun dun dun. Let's see how grades varied against the average. This is called computing the variance. A very large variance means that the student's grades were all over the place. While a small variance, relatively close to the average, means that the majority of students did fairly well. Well, yeah, I guess if they're grading on a curve. I don't know if that's necessarily true. If everyone got within 55 to 65 and the average was 60, I don't know if that counts. But again, that's if they're still sticking with 60 out of 100. We don't need to pick at their backstory. We don't need to pick the backstory. Anyways, wide range versus small range, small variance. We got it. The main idea. Instructions. Ta-da. One. 
on line 18, define a new function called grades variance that accepts one argument, scores, copy, define grades variance, scores. Don't mind the error. Just saving. Just saving. First, create a variable average store the results of calling grades average scores what what first create a variable average and store the results of calling grades average scores all right averages or average average equals blah D D D D D D D D D D three. Next, create another variable variance and set it to zero. We will use this as a rolling sum. Yeah, you don't variance variance equals zero. Love it, love it. Four. Each of the scores ah four each score. In scores, compute its squared difference, average minus score squared, and add that to variance. This is going to get ugly. We're going to take it word by word. This does not feel good. Now, I do want to take... The part that's only... Can uh, confusing me is this bit for each score in scores. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe it doesn't matter. Like, I'd like to see four S in scores or something, or I don't know if I can do four I in scores because I also don't see score singular referenced. Anywhere else in this nonsense, which is fine. It's just a, a mechanism variable, so I think I'm reading way too much into it. That's all right. It's been 56 days of overthinking to this point, so this is not strange or foreign at all. We're, we're going to stick with their singular uh, mindset. Phrasing? Whatever whatever word you, you'd like to reference it as. Or score in scores. Compute the difference, uh, compute the squared difference, which is this, copy, blah, and then add it to, but eat d d d d d d Variance. Lovely. Lovely. Ah, uh, death sickle. I'm not sure. Meh. I mean, it's save. I'm going to close that. I mean, worst case, we'd need to flip them. I'd kind of like to find out now. So I'm going to go back a lesson. We're going to look at the sum of scores in computing. There should be one with total and a plus equals. Total is here. So I think variance see score on this side g for g in scores so this would be like four score in scores i feel like scores should uh should be on that side got it a mean right right okay probably not total total is something not the breakfast cereal but something more Something, something, dark, something. It's a Family Guy Star Wars reference. Yeah, well, and just Star Wars reference in general. So, you know, each his own. Uh, cool. So, with that said, let's take... Damn, maybe we don't. We're gonna leave it here. We can flip it if need be, but this is... We're gonna stick with this 
song and dance for now. That does not seem... I really feel like we should... We just verified that we should flip it, so I don't know why we aren't. I am I will later, but... Meh. Meh. Divide the total variance by the number of scores. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So we're going to have... Very similar to this. Yeah, we have average equals blah, 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 divided by blah, return average. I think it's going to be result equals divided by nonsense and then return result as it is down here. So, you know what? We're going to get, we're going to get crazy. We're going to tell you, cut that out of there, drop in you. Remove that. A lot of, a lot of shuffling, but it feels it feels better than than the ickiness we were looking at before, right? Result equals doom 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 doom. Uh, I guess we'll need to do the floatiness, like last time. So this will be variance. Scores. And return. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if I would do it back. I want to put it back here. Return results. Result or results? Well, it's result up above, so I need to keep it consistent. So, you know. Plural or singular doesn't matter as long as it's consistent. So, I think that should be relatively okay. Yes? Pretty good. Um, and then print, print grads. All right, and we will spot correct from, from her. Your code appears to raise an error. See the console window for error message. Indentation error, unexpected indent. Perhaps. It should not be so indenty. Or it should be further indented. Back one. Holy shit, it worked. Oh my god. We did it with one spot correction. By ourselves. Hot damn, ladies and gentlemen. That is... Very, very impressive. Yeah? Right? Probably not, but for me, he's good. He's good. Defeat, boss. Defeat. What is that? Fantasy Island? Pretty sure it was Fantasy Island. All right. Section 8. Standard deviation. Great job computing the variance. The last statistic will be much simpler Standard deviation. The standard deviation is the square root of the variance. You can calculate the square root by raising the number to the one-half power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, they say it's going to be straightforward. Why do I detect tears in our future? Tell me that, little cat. No, she's not. She, oh, just kidding. She's not even here. Ignore that. Define function grades STD standard deviation. Very questionable. Define a function. Define. Blah. Variance. Got it. Return the result. 
of variance law. Okay. Copy. Return. Meh. Beautiful. After the function, create a new variable called variance and store the result. But what, what, what I'm getting ahead of myself. After the function, create a new variable variance. Store the result of calling grades variance. Will do. Happily. I would love to do that. Variance. Did I? Is that? Yeah, that's good. For, finally, print the result of calling such thing. Print. Bum 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 bum. Hint: Remember, raising a number to an exponent involves using exponential operators. Uh, yes, yes, it does. Save and submit. Beautiful, beautiful. Love it, love it. Um. Super error. That's hot. That's hot. Your code appears to raise an error. See the console window for the error message. Variance is not defined. Did I spell it wrong? I spelled it wrong. It hates my spelling of variance. That's. No? Why does it hate me? Oh, uh, no? Yes, we need to have it above the return, right? Why would, we, why would we be that guy? This doesn't make sense, so cut that out. And drop her down. One. Paste that in there. And let's see how, how that goes. No, also, also terrible. Line, line 32. There's a disturbance in the force. Oh, I'd still want re uh, return at the end. So, trace back most recent call, file Python line 32 in module name variance. Variance is defined. Let's uh let's tab out return one just for fun. Okay, we're we're getting a different error code, so that's that's nice. Return the result. Let's try that once more. Let's do Result equals result unexpected indent. Something about Mary. Still indent issues. Right. Variance is not defined. I find that so odd. Line 31, return a result, unexpected indent. Does not like that. We're going to 
check the forums. Right? Right. Now, we left off in section 8. So that's where we're at, which is standard deviation. Standard deviation. Variance not defined. And another successful one, as we find here. Uh, we'll even, we'll even call this one up. Standard deviation. Oh, they've got all their prints at the bottom. Classy. I like your style. Was that what they're rocking? No clue why it says variance is not defined. Trace back most recent call line 27 blah 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 blah. Statement variance equals the statement is indented, making it part of grade's standard deviation function. The statement does not get executed since it immediately follows the return statement. Even if it did execute, it would create a local variance variable visible only within the function. Thank you, this was hurting my brain for hours. Yes. So it sounds like it needed to be above the return and less indented. Let me get a clear. And then da -da -da -da. I can't figure out what's wrong here. I have exactly as the instructions stray. I've looked through relevant forum posts to confirm, but I still get the error. Variance. Variance equals grades. Return. Note that the header implies you must pass the value of variance to the grade. Define variance. However, if you passed grades here, print the previous statement assigns a value to variance. Pass that variance variable grade deviation function instead of passing it to grades. I think I need to read that one more. Solved. Oops. Try again. Standard deviation return. Not solved. This should be the last line in the function. That should be the last line in the function. So, grades, variance, var grades, variance, grades, variance, grades, variance, grades. Okay, and there's that. Where is the beef? Variance, variance, grades, variance, grades. What is it returning? Returning variance multiplied blah. Return variance blah. Yeah, return variance blah. So that's just uh, its own separate thing. Note that this header implies that you must pass a value for variance to the grade standard deviation function. Define grade standard deviation. Variance is the argument. However, you passed grades here. Grades here. Your previous statement assigns a value to variance, passes that variable to grade standard deviation instead of passing it grades. 
so Oh, and I need to put grades here. Is that our issue? That's our issue. Uh, I'm going to do Command Z till I like the way it looks again, because, frankly, it should be return. Grades. think we're getting close. Hey, da -da -na -na. Da -na 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 -na. Well, it does say call variance. Ah, there we go. Okay. It was because, let me close out of this. It was because we had this guy nestled in here. What the deuce? Now it works? I don't know. Apparently this is kosher. I could have swore this is what we had earlier. I thought this is what we first tried, but apparently not. Apparently not. Next lesson. Section 9, review. Say la vie. Review. You've done a great job. Uh, you've done a great job completing this program. We've created quite a few meaning... Yeah, quite a few meaningful functions. Namely, we created helper functions to print a list of grades, compute the sum, average variance, and standard deviation about a set of grades. Let's wrap up by printing out all the statistics. Who needs to pay for grade calculation software when you can write your own? Eh? Exactly. Print out the following. All the grades, the sum of all grades, the average grade, the variance, and standard deviation. Hint, you need to use all the helper functions that you created to print out their results. Can I, can I just hit save and submit? Oh, no, just kidding. Just kidding. So, what's happening? No, oh, whiskers, whiskers, I love you, I love you. But we're on section nine, and we're gonna we're gonna put a bullet in this thing. No, stay. <laughs> Go be a cat somewhere else for like four minutes. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six. You know, I think we can just do this. Print, copy. Da dum da dum dum. Hey, da dum da dum da 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 dum. I don't know why we have that in there. Ah, uh, that song stuck in my head. Uh, print one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. We've got print grades, print sum of grades, print average grades, print the variance, and print the standard deviation. Fire away. Code Academy. Boom! What you talking about, Willis? That's right. Exam this. Bam! 
No, too much. We'll kick it down a notch. All right. Well, that that concludes day fifty six. Uh, today's rather short stream, but nevertheless, we are still hacking away at Python. So, uh, you earned a badge. Exam statistics, beautiful. Close out of this. We'll take a peek at the next course. Advanced topics in Python. As if it wasn't painful enough. High fives, little cat. No. Okay, now you're ignoring me. Love it. Up next, advanced topics in Python. In this lesson, we'll cover, cover some of the more complex aspects of Python, including iterating over data structures, list comprehensions, list slicing, and lum, lumbata expressions. God, that's going to get ugly fast. We'll look at this. While well, that's loading, we'll close out of you, 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 and Kyle. And uh, that first little bit. How many sections are there in this beast? Holy. God, 18. Good. Good. It always breaks my heart when there's less than 18 sections. So, you know. Uh, iterators for dictionaries. Let's start with iterating over a dictionary. Recall that a dictionary is just a collection of keys and values. Yes. Remembered. Let's back out of this, see where we stand for today, and close a stream 76% of the way through. Spectacular. Spectacular. 597 points as we conclude today. 56 with 84 badges in the bag. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's shimmy back to here and then to obs and let's kill the stream are you sure you want to stop the stream hell yeah all right kill it